Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a nice cup of citrus juice drink. Very refreshing. So continuing on with our theme of building ships that are very lo-fi and use a low level of technology and primitive, some might say, um, we have a couple of gaps in the fleet that I'd like to fill. Uh, firstly, we don't have anything that goes on the ground, but the problem with that is that um, everything that... Uh, like for for ground is tier one or above, so we'd we wouldn't necessarily have to break our own rule because we never set a, a rule in stone of only using tier zero technology, but it would have to be the lowest level, so just standard small tracks. Um, but also we don't have anything that can board, and we don't have anything that can um, bomb from a higher level. Now the the boarding vessel. Uh, has the same problem as the land ship because if we go to airship editor we go down to troops you can see that everything is tier th uh, tier one or above that's tier three that's tier three guard barracks is tier zero so that's we could use that but that's not for boarding that's just for defending our own ship and the marine barracks which is tier one that's the lowest level of technology and that's probably what we would use but Again, we're trying to use um, up as much as possible all of the options for tier 0. And then you've got Spider Bear, which is uh, yeah, completely the opposite end of the scale. It's tier 5. Um, so we're not going to be using that today. We're not going to be making a, a boarding vessel. We're going to use... We're going to use some weapons, and we're going to make a high-level bomber. Now, you might think, well, immediately use a bomb bay. Well, there you go. It is tier 1, so we need to find something that is lower than that. And I think the thing to use is grenades. Now, the problem with that... Well... For a start, grenades are tier zero, so that that sort of fits. The problem, however, if we look at the um, the maximum range, it is 24 meters, um, but I believe that can just drop down. Uh, splash distance is three meters, blast damage 30. Um, if we place one, you can see that it basically goes out and down, so I think it can just drop them down from a high height. It does say that grenades can do massive amounts of damage close range, especially to wooden hulls. So I don't know whether we can have this as basically a ship that can go really high and it'll drop it right down and it's just not as accurate or whether we do have to be quite um up close i think the the, the range of um 24 meters is that but i could be wrong i could be wrong there's only one way to find out really um i'm going to place a row of these because what we're going to do is go over to lift and then large suspendium chamber and then we're going to have these basically going down like so and that's going to be our uh, that's going to be our vessel we'll do probably that would be fine and we'll go back over to weapons again this is just a test i don't know if this is going to work at all but you know the fun part is finding out and we'll place them down either side you can see the service ceiling is currently 308 meters if it's under 200 i will not really be happy with with that I think 250 is the ideal amount let's just place some corridors right up there and then right up there um, you can see it's already at uh, 272 so once we've got crew and ammo and other things in there I think it is going to be hovering around the 200 mark which is a little bit lower than I'd like but let's just see how we get on so there's that there we now need somewhere of um, well for a start we haven't got any ammo so we need to sort that out so we'll use probably the low level ammo store the tier 0 um, actually, I think all of them are tier zero. Let's go resources, ammo store. Yeah, they're, they're both tier zero, but we'll use the small ammo store. And I think I want to, well, we'll put them like there, well, like that for now. And then what we'll do is we'll basically take weapons off um, at certain locations going down like so. And then what we'll do is just plonk them in like so. And the reason for that is that they well, they work like that. They, they work fine like that. Um, so there we are. So we got one, two, three, four. And then it's basically banks of four up until the bottom here where we don't because, well, we don't need to. Um, I could remove that last one and put another ammo store in there, but I don't think it's necessary, quite frankly. I don't think it is. Let's just do that. Okay. So there we are. There's that put in. So we need crew. Uh, minimum crew is 34, but that actually only counts this side. So <laughs> we'll actually need uh, twice that. Um, and that's not accounting for the other stuff that we put in, like a bridge, which we haven't got, and other things. So let's try that out now. So we'll go over to... Um We'll go over to command and crew, and we're going to put—we are going to put a bridge in. We're not going to use um, anything else. We'll use, we're not going to use the cockpit, and we'll put that in. And you can see it's now connected up. And now it does say minimum crew is 37, so we're already under the amount of crew that we really need. So let's do that, and then we'll build this up a little bit further, like so. And we can place them either side again. And uh, we're on crew 48, recommended 73. 
Okay then, um, we don't have any propulsion, but we can sort that in a moment. It looks like we are going to be bang on once we get the propulsion and bang on around that level that we mentioned, about uh, about 200. We need to have uh, some, it'll be under resources, some wooden supply hatches, one, two, three. That is just the right amount. And then we need some propulsion, which we will use the, well, we could use a sail, could use a sail, but that brings it down to 192, and that's too small. Let's go for perhaps a small sail like that. Um, that would work. That would work. Flipping it around and putting it on the other side. That's wrong. Sorry, a sail can go on there. No, it's 191. That's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Um, so instead, I think what we'll do is... Well, how much is a large sail? A large sail is far too heavy for our... Our vessel. Um, small propeller, a standard sail, large sail. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, one. I think it's just gonna have to be a sail. 201 meters service ceiling. Speed 30. Not very fast at all. Not that we need it to be very fast. Armor is the standard wooden armor. I would like to use wood wall. Um, but the problem with that is it only gives us nine extra meters and it's vastly inferior. So let's not do that. Okay, well, we'll try this. We can only try it. I'm not hopeful, but then again, I wasn't hopeful for the other stuff before and they seem to work very, very, um, well, they were acceptable to say the least. So we need a name for this. Um, uh, so it's, well... What's lo-fi? It's going to be called the Rock Tosser. As in, they're just tossing rocks out of it that happen to explode. Okay, save it. Save design. And let's leave that. We'll go to combat. We'll go to day. We'll add an airship. We'll add the Rock Tosser, which is actually quite expensive. Um, look at that. It's 1,400. 452. Okay, we'll add an airship and we will add something around about the same amount, which the prim, no, definitely not. The sterling is pretty much bang on, isn't it? I think that will absolutely, I think that will absolutely hammer us though. So let's just move that to there and then we're going to move this one back over to there because we want to get as much height as we can. And let's start the fight. So this one immediately will say move and oh my good grief, the service ceiling is pathetic. Look at that. Um, so we're going to go forward and we're going to try and take out this thing again i'm not hopeful but let's see how it goes it's going to go right below us and no you can see the grenades are getting flung out and they're getting flung out of the trajectory that you would expect and i'm going to just keep moving it around moving it around there we go see that oh yeah it's um <laughs> it's tossing rocks and there's a lot of explosions okay this is interesting um it's not doing a terrible amount of damage and it certainly does not maneuver at all um, it's far too slow, but as you can see, it's causing some damage, uh, and there's some explosions there. The advantage that we have with these vessels, I'm going to say go further up there, oh, and that's a fire. That's something we can't deal with. Um, yeah, oh, there we are, there we are. There's bits falling off it already. Yeah, the advantage that we have is that nothing much blows up in this. Well, actually, that's not the case. Oh, there's suspendium chamber gone. Uh, it looks like it was damaged for a second there. Let's move this away. Yeah, there's only really the ammo cell that can go up, but whereas this thing, you've got the engine, you've got the suspendium chamber, you've got all of that, and um, I don't know why they are no longer firing. Is it because they don't have the service ceiling? I think it is. I think our Tower of Doom has tossed just the right amount of rocks. Let's go further down. In terms of ammo, you can see we've burned through half of our ammo, and good grief. <laughs> um, that's working out. Of all the vessels that I didn't think we'd be able to fight, it was that one. And there we are. Damage is... Mm, yeah. Damage has been taken. We have sustained some. We've lost one of the four large suspendium dust tanks. And we've lost some weapons there. And that was there was some fire as well. So that could have chain reacted and gone all the way up. But that's a Vic and Terry. So let's try. Um, let's try that again. We'll say add airship. 
and we'll go for the rock tosser once again and we're gonna put it against a building and a building is the white lookout is there that should be ah oh, no we're gonna get absolutely destroyed um i was gonna say the white lookout is something we can try and take on but let's give it a go um i'm not hopeful i'm really not hopeful because they've got so much they've got two flak and i think that'll absolutely destroy us but let's uh, start the fight and i'm gonna move actually i should have really just moved it right down to gain uh, more accuracy because they've only got some rifles and the flak but there is the grenades out and you can see that they are immediately not very accurate at all i'm going to bring it further down so we get some uh, better accuracy there however we are now getting hit with cannon which is not good so i need to go a bit further up i'll wait until we can issue some more orders but i think it's already over i think i've already messed it up too much let's go this away and there we go and well to be fair to be fair keeping it there is working there is some fires burning and that is a little bit of an issue However, they are getting destroyed faster than I am. In fact, it's... <laughs> it's absolutely gutting that thing. Well, we said high-level bomber, but this is more of a getting close and personal assault it with... Um, assault it with as many grenades as possible. The day is ours. And there we go. That's it gone. We've absolutely destroyed it. And the fire's gone out as well, which is interesting. Okay. Okay. In terms of design changes, I think somewhere to put fires out would be good. And also, it would be nice to have this thing being a bit quicker. But, I mean, do we really need it? Do we really need it? Let's go to add the airship again. And we'll put the, the rock tosser in. And what else could we put it against? The Coventry. Now that's that's an expensive ship. That is an expensive ship. It's actually um, about well, I'm 1,452, and they're 1,891. So they are uh, very much um, more expensive. Um, they also have a lot better armament than I do. But let's just see what happens. There goes the copious amounts of rocks that happen to explode. Um, and we are just going to basically sit above it and do what we can. Now, it is at its maximum service ceiling there. It does have, however, a really good arc of fire. It's at a 90 degree arc of fire. That's the problem we have. Um, is that regardless of where we go, it's going to... Oh, that's basically our game gone there. That's all kinds of bad. Okay, we'll try and go up. We can see we are leaking... Uh, some suspendium there. <laughs> We've got some uh, dust that's uh, escaping there. That's not good. I don't know what happens when you inhale it. I'm guessing you get very high. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Right, so at least it's uh, still aloft, which is... Okay, spoke too soon. Uh, <laughs> and there it goes. Um, if we can just get another little volley in there, because it's almost out of... It's almost out of... Um, it's almost out of weapons. It's not It's not going any further up, though. I think it's just leaking too much. And it's about to be chiseled in half. There's only this little bit here that, uh, that is keeping it going. Okay. Well, I think they've won this fight. Even though I'm issuing orders to move, it is not doing any of that. Oh, I can't. It's got no... Oh, there we go. There's the last bit. And crunch. I was going to say that's why I can't move, because we've lost that bit there. Okay. Um, I reckon that's still winnable. I think that is still winnable. So we'll go to airship once again. Put that back on. And airship. Uh, Coventry. Let's try that once more. Start the fight. Immediately you can see it's going to move. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And there goes the grenades. The initial volley could be very damaging. That's what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to give it um, a nice nice fly pass but you can see it's so it's so slow that it takes ages to get there but the damage it's causing oh there's the suspendium chamber going and oh it's crashed into the ground right okay you can see it isn't really much of an impediment to the coventry because it um, has such a great arc of fire however uh, i think that's now oh we've had some explosions there i think that's now gg i, th I don't think oh look at that it's actually firing back over right speaking of back over i'm going to i'm going to move this thing further back um, just so it can't fire the weapons. And um, there it is. There's a win, I think. Yeah, absolutely decimated it. As soon as that suspendium chamber came out, that was that was game over for it. Okay. 
Well, that works as well. Right, let's try another one. So we'll go to um, combat and add airship once again. We'll put that in there. Now, we are ignoring the obvious that planes would absolutely decimate this. Uh, boarding like it would do it. But, you know, we're not feeling this on our own. This is part of a fleet. Um, we could, you know, field it against... Um, well, we put that with the prim. The prim would go with it. These are these like mini, mini sort of shooting vessels, and um, we'd also put it with. Well, we'll put it with a basic as well, and that would be able to take out airplanes with the uh, muskets on the back. So that would work. Anyway, let's put it against. Um, well. We could put it against the Harrier, and we'd probably still win. We would just destroy that, and there'd only be planes left. Let's put it against the... Let's put it against something where we can stack up. Well, there's the Testington, which is just... Is that just uh, double sponsons? It is, yeah. Um, the York would be an interesting fight. Let's put it against the York, then. Okay. So the York, we'll probably put further back there, just to be fair, because you wouldn't deploy that really close to the front. Um, and I need to place a lot more of these things. So, actually, I think we need th three more. Add airship, uh, rock tosser, uh, one, two. And, no, that'll be about right. So, we're 4,356 against 4,865. Okay, we will start the fight, and then we'll immediately tell us to move. And go to there. Uh, it looks like they're actually coming towards me, which is interesting. I don't know why they're doing that, because they're about to get a whole lot of pain delivered. First post, the post that hurts the most. And, oh, it's backing up now. Yeah, it's decided against its original intentions of coming forward. Uh, we're just going to issue orders to get closer and keep going and keep going and this is the problem when you stack ships up. If one of them starts to flag, the other ones are going to uh, start to ram into each other. I'm actually going to issue a ram command just because I want these to go forward regardless of whatever happens there. Even if, they, even if they hit each other, it doesn't matter. We just need to get these out and that is a very, very, very good <laughs> situation for us to be in. We may be as you can see, um, colliding with one another, like three tower blocks. <laughs> but, but, the tower block of terrors are... Good grief. That's unbelievable. We were... how many points? Noticeable amount of points under. It wasn't, it wasn't like any... <laughs> I think it was a couple of hundred at least and we've absolutely destroyed it okay combat it's gonna have to be done uh, actually we're a land ship um we've got the they've got the paris and they've got the encroacher <laughs> well the encroacher is useless uh in general it's useless but in this in this regard it would it would get one volley off before we're above it the paris however would probably be uh, quite a i don't think it would be much of a challenge actually mm, okay Add airship. It's going to have to be done, isn't it? So, the Excalibur. We'll put it back over there. Airship. <laughs> and as many as we can fit in. In a row. Points. Oh, we're only halfway. <laughs> halfway. Wow, okay. Uh, we're a little bit overpointed. Okay, we'll give it a we'll give it a we'll give it a fighting chance. Right, one thousand uh, fifteen thousand nine hundred seventy-two against sixteen thousand uh, four hundred seventy-five. So nearest damn it, five hundred points ish uh, less than them. So that's okay. Collect all these ram and ram to there go, and it has decided to come towards us again. That's going to be a, probably a poor choice. And there's the first hit on the bridge. Of the uh, front ship. Oh, we're getting some. Um, we're getting a bit of lag. Frame rates reduced, and you can see original. Uh, well, initial initial volley is quite crippling. Yeah. Okay. That's that's working then. Um, it is. Well, it's lost the front, and it has decided to land. Maybe not under its own. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> own request or requirement, but 
It's uh Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fairly It's fairly devastating, isn't it? Did we expect anything different? At least we can look inside of that, which is, you know, quite nice. I was gonna say look at the pollutants, but that's actually just the fire from Actually that's just the smoke from the uh, from the damage that we've taken, I think. And the only thing that are left the only thing that's left are the large keels. One, two, three, four. <laughs> There's the large keels and the um the entrance ways there. So we've lost one rock toss has been destroyed, and the Excalibur's been absolutely decimated. Making another note here, huge success. That works. Um, not exactly the high-level bomber that we wanted, but it does work. It does work. Now, obviously, anything that's a little bit higher than that will just win. So, for example, the Zeppington uh, version 2 has a service ceiling of, if memory serves, 200 and... 42. Let's actually check that. Let's go to Design and Fight, Open Airship Editor, Open Design, it's Legacy, and it is the Zeppington uh, Mark II. 243. I was one off. <laughs> I was one off. Um, so that would just w that would just beat, you know, win it. it. It would beat it, hands down, because we just can't shoot it. Um, but then again, then again, we do have other options. We have other options. But in terms of what we've made there, rather a stupidly high-level bomber, it's more of a top-down, um, it is, it is a doomed, it is a doom stack, it's a doom tower, it is just a, a big rectangle that flies over you, and, um, anything below it tends to get destroyed, including, including when it sort of loses all of its suspendium chambers and lands on top of the thing, but it's, um, yeah, it's pretty good, it's, it doesn't fly as high as I thought it would, but that doesn't really make, it doesn't really mean much because all you do is just get it lower anyway because then you're more accurate. Um, but, yeah, it's all right. It's pretty good. I'm uh, I'm quite impressed with that. It's a bit more expensive than I would have thought, 1,400 nod, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. As always, hope you have enjoyed uh, watching the, uh, <laughs> the farce that was uh, building that thing and trying it out. Um, if you have any designs and things like that that you would like to uh, be built, then by all means drop them in the comments and we'll see what we can do there. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.